So I'm here with Ken. We are embarking on his first bike packing overnight. Yes. And we're very excited. I've actually been there in spirit since probably about Wednesday. <laughs> um, so, yeah. This is true. Yeah, man, we're pumped. We're doing this. We are heading up to Ceylon Wildlife Management Area and uh, gonna have a great, great night with some, some good food and fellowship. And uh, we'll take you there with us. Absolutely. See you, see you down the road. And we're off. We are heading out of the neighborhood. Going to take that same route that I did on the last Gas is Pricey Ride That Bikey and get on Kings Bay Road just for an eighth of a mile. It just seems a lot nicer than Colerain. And uh, then hop on some familiar paths to y'all. And uh, we'll just get a little bit of footage of the Laurel Trail. And then once we're in the country, that'll look even more fun. See y'all down there. Three miles into it. How you doing, Ken? Doing good, brother. All right. Woo! <laughs> just, just hiding my exhaustion. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're on the Laurel Trail now, as y'all probably recognize from previous videos. Uh, heading north. Gonna catch Old Soul Road here in a little bit. We got a windy bridge climb, so that'll be fun. See y'all down the road. Thoughts on the bridge climb, Ken? It's humbling, <laughs> but it's fun. All right. Was that the question? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Here we go, getting on Old Soul Road. Nice country road and Kinlaw Road. So we hop on 17 for a little bit. I think we're gonna make the ton clearance. Cruising up on beautiful Crooked River. That's some of its most crooked areas. That's the river that's crooked for the people. Marcy. Marcy. Alright. Here we go, Kinlaw Road, straight ahead on the left. Cruising down 17 on the way to Billyville Road. Then hopping over 95 into Ceylon. Trying old Jefferson Road today. See how it goes. A little loose in some spots, but it's working out. Made it out of the dirt. Ken, how do you feel about that uh, side adventure down the, uh, the dirt road of old Jefferson? It's her. Mom has some great looking legs afterwards. <laughs> yes. Now we are on pavement right there, but we're actually going that way. And then just about a quarter mile ish on 17, and then we'll be on Billyville Road. See y'all down the road. Here we go. Turning down Billyville Road. Gonna snake it around to the interstate and then over into Salem. Thank you, Forest View Baptist Church on Billyville Road for the water. Uh, pro tip, you guys out there bike traveling, churches usually have a faucet for you. Um, and I'm sure they're kind enough that they don't mind us getting four liters of water. So, last stop for the non-fart smelly uh, spring water out at Salem. All right, we are on, I believe it's called Lang Road or Lang Lane, pulling up almost to the campground, about to cross Lion Creek. We're almost there, Ken, how's it going? It's going good, man, we made it. We made it. Yes, sir. All right, here we go. See y'all, not down the road, but at the campsite. Yeah, I, uh, I we 
are. We are there. It's the end of March. I am in a spring-fed man-made lake out here at Ceylon. Just saw a gigantic fish. It's not even afraid of me. Haven't seen the alligator that lives here yet. I know there's at least one. It's, it's about as far in as I want to go though. See y'all later on. sleep now it's been a really great day and uh, looking forward to the morning with some coffee biscuits and gravy and just a leisurely ride back home um, it's always a blessing to get away and do this and uh, thankful to get to do it with a buddy who's never done it before it's been great for him too and uh, we'll see y'all in the morning hear all that nature that is the birds saying it's time to wake up I was hoping I could sleep in but uh, here we are waking up at the usual time that my children wake me up all right let's start the day all right we can see that the birds are still screaming but uh, it's breakfast time got some coffee some biscuits and gravy <laughs> how's it going Ken Going good, brother. All right, we're all packed up, about to hit the road, get some lunch on the way, maybe take a little longer route this this time, show Ken the Woodbine Trail. We are going to pray and be on our way. Pretty much. S see you all down the road. Got done dumping our trash at the truck stop. The wildlife management areas are uh, pack in, pack out. They don't have trash cans for you to dump your stuff at. So, got to do the right thing there. We're all packed up and head in to the Woodbine Trail. Uh, taking a little longer route home because the Woodbine Trail is awesome and Ken's never been on it. And then we're going to get some lunch down at Moochie's. And, uh, day. yeah, about four miles from home when we get to Moochie's. So, uh, See y'all down the road. Thank you, Grace Communion in Woodbine, for the short rest and a few liters of water. The Coast Rail Trail in Woodbine. You can hear the jingling of my coffee cups behind me. 
Got to save space, clip them to a carbine. Pro tip for y'all out there. All right, what you think, Ken? Yo, I'm digging it. Right it's on. It's quite nice. Roller coaster time. Heading south on the Woodbine Rail Trail. I'm gonna come out at Liza Rudolph. I think that's what it's called. I get it right about 20% of the time that I say it. And uh, hop on 17 for a bit and uh, see y'all down there. The final bridge climb. Yeah. Yeah. Laurel Trail. We're doing it. We made it back to the finish line. Ish. Car back. Car back. All right. Ken, we're almost home. How's it feel? Feels good, brother. All right. Yes, sir. Ken's going to depart into his apartments, and I'm going to continue on the other side of the neighborhood to my house. It's been great. See y'all down the road.